best trades that I bring um, to this to the, to the table. You, you didn't do a lot of press man. Uh, you know, Kentucky's more of his own team. So, how, how do you sell that to NFL teams? Well, you know, every rep that I got impressed, um, I made sure our, I made sure that you know that it was aggressive, physical. You know, you know, I still reps in the game. So I just feel like just doing that in general um, helped me sell myself. Is there? We we talk a lot in Lexington about the pro style offense. When when the, you're in interviews and meetings and they're asking you to draw up defensive schemes, is, is some of the defense, is that similarly pro style that, that Brad White runs? Yeah, I draw, I draw up a bunch of things, you know. Um, I just try to, you know, show that my knowledge isn't just what I run as well. So, you know, I feel like just showing my versatility on the board, um, it, it helped me. Have you met with the Cincinnati Bengals at all? Um, yes, I have, just briefly. Was it it's what was it informal? Yes, sir. Do you remember who you talked to? Um, not remember. I've talked to so many people. I'm getting I'm getting bad with names. <laughs> <laughs> what was the impression you got just from talking to whoever you talked with? Um, I feel like it was a pretty good impression. Um, we're going to stay in touch and then see where it goes from there. What do you like about their defense? They got a young corner with Ken Taylor Bear. They got Alan George from Vandy. You know, what do you like about that? Have you followed them at all? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm from Cincinnati, so uh, they're physical. They they get the ball out, and that's. That's one thing, you know. I try to get my hands on balls, so I feel like you know that really stands out. Did so, you grow up a Bengals fan? Um, when I was younger, yes. Yeah, so, but right now, I'm anybody's fan at this point. Yeah. It still has to be kind of cool to see their rise over the last few years, right? Definitely, yeah. What high school did you go to in Cincinnati? I went to Cincinnati Moeller. Got you. Okay. So, do you know Sam Hubbard at all? Have you talked to him? By yeah, chance? I, I don't met Sam before. Uh, so, uh, me and him. I've, I haven't touched bases with him before, so yeah, I haven't seen him around. Mike Edwards is another Cincinnati guy who already won a Super Bowl after going to Kentucky. Is it, what's it like seeing people that have kind of taken a similar path uh, have success at the NFL? Um, you know, it's really eye-opening. Um, they are like, I would say, another motivation that like, you know, they they came from where I came from. So seeing Mike make it out of Cincinnati, like it's not easy. Um, so I feel like seeing him do it gave me more confidence that I could do it. There was a lot of people who didn't expect you to make the leap early and, and go into the NFL. What went behind your decision-making process where you're like, now is the, the right time to go to the league? Well, one is like, I felt like that I wanted to guard the best people in the world. Um, and, and that's the National Football League, it's not college. So I feel like that's what really, you know, push my efforts to uh, do it so I just feel like and I'm ready so I just feel like I'm ready to go out there and show that like I'm not scared of anybody big name I just feel, I see everybody the same and I'm gonna go out there and grind and kind of going back to Sam Hubbard what was the advice he gave you like can you kind of talk about that conversation so when I when I seen Sam Sam I was actually in high school actually so uh, me and his um, cousin played basketball together so it wasn't even it wasn't even recently it was more in high school it was the last time I saw him so he was uh, I was still a little scrawny high school kid when I saw him so <laughs> yeah what's his cousin's name uh, G Thompson so uh, you had there was a big difference between year one as a starter versus year two you made a giant leap where, where do you think you improved the most and and. How did you? How did you make that big, significant job? Um, I felt like I improved the most where I got my body to where it needed to be, um, and then just the preparation that I changed my approach of the game and watching film. So basically, just talking through splits and uh, the alignment of where the receivers are, what where's the ball at on the hash, the different like little nuances of the game. Sort of pre-snap kind yeah. of stuff like that. I feel like it slowed the game down for me a lot. Have you got a chance to talk to the Houston Texans? Um, informally, yes. What would it mean to play for a defensive-minded head coach like D'Amico Ryan? I feel like it'd be great. Um, you know, just, you know, I, I, it's kind of like playing for my head coach. Uh, he was a, he's a DB coach by trade, so it's, it's, it's similar. How much did going against Will Levis in practice help you get to this point? A lot. Um, I feel like Will is is the best quarterback in this draft class and that's coming from someone who's on the other side of him and I know what it looks like and go against him every day and I wholeheartedly stand by that one. Is it is it kind of weird seeing his name out there and having talking heads kind of debate is, is he good or not? 
Are you asking me? Is he yeah, good it, no, is it weird seeing like him be such a big part of the conversation while they're debating if he's the best player or something like that? I don't think it's weird, but like, I don't think it's a debate, honestly. So, <laughs> but you know, Will's a, Will's a humble guy, and I know he doesn't let stuff get to him like that, but I have my opinions on it. So, <laughs> informally, yes. What do you think the biggest adjustment is going to be for you coming from the college game going into the Um, I feel like the bigger adjustment is just, you know, every level you make that jump from high school, the game speeds up somehow, some way. And I feel like once I adjust to that, I feel like I'll, I'll be pretty pretty good. Will is saying that you're ready to take this next step, which is why you left early. How much do you put not only in your personal trace to do that, but playing in the SEC for three years to be able to make this up? Say it one more time. Besides your personal traits of being able to make the decision that you made to leave early, how much has that three years playing in the SEC helped you get to that next level? It's the best conference in the country, so it's the closest thing that I feel like you can get to the NFL. So I feel like it helped me a lot. So I've seen some guys before. I've seen some dudes. So I feel like just getting that NFL talent all around um, really helped. Can you get a chance to talk to some of the former Kentucky players like Ronnie Johnson Jr. who was drafted out of Kentucky into the league? Uh, Say it one more time. Do you get a chance to talk to other you know players from Kentucky like Ronnie Johnson Jr. who played defensive back in Kentucky? So, um, Basically, I've talked to like Brandon Eccles, uh, you know, Kelvin Joseph, um, all those guys who are in the league. And then they just basically just told me like, they gave me advice. They was like, just be you. Like you were made for this. Like you came in as a freshman to play along me and stuff like that. Like, like this is who you are. You've always been a competitor. So they just told me to go out there and just grind it out. Where are you, uh, where are you working out uh, during the pre-draft process? I'm working out at, um, in Louisville, Kentucky at Aspiration Fitness Institution. A lot of players decide to kind of go elsewhere and, you know, one of the big kind of corporations down in the south or something like that. Why did you decide to, to stay home, um, for lack of a better term? For multiple reasons. So I wanted to stay home bar close to Kentucky um, just because I wanted to be secluded. Um, and, you know, I feel like Chris Vaughn, my trainer, um, would put me in the best position in to, you know, perform well. And also, just another thing, like, I just want to show, like, you don't got to go to these big-name places to, to, to prove who you are. Like, it's wherever your heart and how much work you put in. And that's where it, that's where it all matters and shows up. What's your preparation, like, you know, during the week, your film study, like, especially playing in the SEC, what's your prepar preparation during the week? So I'll start, like, on Sunday, um, I'll break down, you know, the game, like, time on the play clock, um, you know, where the ball at, what type of releases the receiver gives and stuff like that, like different little tiny things. And then I'll take it and then go to practice and then whatever my coach has down and whatever we watch, I take that as well. And then I go out to practice and then I just apply that, whatever I took from myself and him on the field. And then I just do that throughout the week. And I feel like it slows the game down. Who would you say is the best trash talker you've played with or played against? I played with or played it against. Yourself? <laughs> I just, I don't talk trash until it's initiated. So, <laughs> um, I don't know, that's a hard one. Because I feel like when I start talking trash, that people usually go mute. So, <laughs> that's a hard one. It's hard to remember. And who would you say is some, like some of the best, you know, receivers you've played against? I've guarded Devontae Smith before as a freshman. Um, Recently, I, I I guarded Cedric Tillman before, um, so I've I've guarded a, a handful of guys. Um, I just feel like, you know, I'm just ready for the next week to go guard. You know, like your big name guys, like your Devonte Adams, your Jamar Chases, and show them that you know, like I'm another guy too. So you know, that's a lot. Just, just a couple more guys. Go ahead. You, if you're right here, to, right here first, please. Right here first. What did you take away from your time as a teammate of Will Levis, and why do you think he'll be a successful NFL player? Um, you know, Will be a, success, a successful NFL player because the way he approaches the game is very professional. Um, everyone talks about the arm talent, but no one talks about his preparation to the game. Um, I see him around the facility all the time, so I just feel like, you know, him being in there day in, day out, um, good team leader. I feel like, you know, he, uh, um, he'll be a good one. Appreciate it. Last question. 
if you're, if you're talking to teams, I know they all have different schemes and wants. Would well, you get a sense of what teams are looking for in a cornerback right now? Um, yeah, I feel like some some teams are looking for um, physical corners, um, big, strong, competitive, got that competitive spirit, um, aggressive. And, um, you know, I just feel like that's me. So. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.